another edition of Stretcher Scandals and Unsubstantiated Scuttlebutt, a series uh, where we're looking at some of the myths and legends around characters in scripture. These stories are really fun little stories. They're probably not true at all, but they, they surround true stories from scripture and characters from scripture that we know and love. And throughout the years, whenever scripture's silent, our imaginations take hold. And we begin to, uh, to wonder and to guess and to, to try and speculate about some of these, these lesser-known characters and what their lives may have been like. And so today I'd like to share with you a story from the Old Testament, from the book of Judges, uh, from Judges chapter 4. Now, the story in Judges 4 is a famous one. It's the story of the judge Deborah. Uh, and Deborah ended up uh, leading her people against a powerful enemy. This morning's story is about that enemy. Now, there was a king, of course, that uh, Deborah and the people were fighting against, but that king had a general who was really more of the, the villain in our story. And the general's name was Sisera. Now, we don't know much about Sisera from Scripture. There's very little information about him, and that's, of course, where our imaginations pick up. The stories go that Sisera was a pretty formidable foe, um, almost like a, a, a supervillain. Stories go that he was, he was huge, a very, very large, uh, large man with gigantic muscles, almost like a giant. And that uh, he was so powerful, he, just the sound of his voice was enough to win most battles for him. They, they said that his voice was so powerful he could make walls shake or crack or even crumble. And when animals, wild beasts, heard his voice, they were uh, paralyzed in fear, frozen to the spot as they heard a, a, a more dominant predator coming their way. Uh, another one of the stories about Cicero was that uh, not only was he huge and did he have that booming voice, but the story goes, this is kind of the strange part, the story goes that he had a long bushy beard, and his beard was so long and so thick that whenever he would bathe in the river, fish would get caught in his beard. To me, that seems like kind of a silly part of the story and a little bit on the gross side. But uh, these stories, they, they, they position this, this uh, enemy, this uh, enemy general, as almost a force of nature. The, 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 the massive presence of his physical body, the, uh, the sound of his voice that could, uh, that could shake the earth, and the beard that could catch fish. I mean, it, it makes him seem like uh, something from a myth or legend. Well... Uh, Sisera and his army, they, uh, they were very proud of their chariots. And we do read about their chariots in Judges 4. Uh, they had these massive iron chariots. And according to legend, uh, the, the massive weight of the iron chariot that Sisera rode, uh, combined with his own weight from his size and his muscles and his armor, made his chariot so heavy it took hundreds of horses to draw Sisera, the, the mighty mythical villain, into battle. And so Cicero, with his iron chariots and his powerful voice and his huge stature, Cicero went into battle against the people of God. And that's when God chose kind of a, an unlikely pair of heroes to do battle against this mythical force. But of course, that is a story for another day.